the most important thing in fishing is number one, you got to have a good location, right? There's got to be fish there. And then you got to have good bait. You can go to the perfect lake and the perfect spot and you can throw an old sock out on a hook and you're not going to catch anything, right? I can't tell you how many times I'm talking to sales reps and I go, hit me with your pitch. And they're like, my name's uh, Jake with Heritage and uh, you need a new roof. Well, no shit, right? What, what is the bait? What's going to make them try to, to do business with you? Cody, what's your bait right now? Uh, a local company. Um, I give you a free estimate and a free inspection. David, do I care about that? Everybody's giving that out. Everybody's giving that out. Jason, do I care about that? No. It's not very good bait. Everybody's giving that out, right? We've got to, when we're going to create a good pitch, we've got to create good bait. So there's three cycles to a storm, okay? In the beginning, what has value? The inspection. This is where a lot of you started. It's giving away a free inspection. The day after a storm, providing a free inspection to people, that's pretty good bait. Their house just got rocked. There's, you know, broken windows or whatever, leaves all in the yard. Giving a free inspection has value. But at some point right about the fifth roofer that's knocked on their door and offered that, that has no value to them anymore. What do you think the next thing we should transition to is? David? Quality? It's not really bait. Everybody's going to tell you they do a quality job. Estimate. It's an estimate. Right? At this point in the storm, how many times have you heard customers say, man, I just want an estimate? And I hear roofers trying to push them back. No, 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 let me just give you a free inspection. We don't really do estimates. Why wouldn't you do estimates? I understand why most roofers don't want to do estimates. Because if we provide an estimate that's less than the insurance payout, then we're going to possibly be leaving money on the table. But let's face it, guys. Our customers don't know the roofing business. We have to educate through earning their trust and providing information to them. We've got to educate them on the process. And so if a stranger comes up to your door and says, oh, no, don't worry, you don't need to get an estimate. you got to realize what kind of red flags that's sending off to this customer. You're not building trust with a customer. If the customer says, hey, I'd like to get an, an estimate, or better yet, you even offer an estimate, you're now building rapport and trust with a customer. Sergio is the first guy that's come along and offered just to give me a straight quote. All these other roofers are telling me it's not in my best interest. Well, guess what? They're right. It's really not in your best interest to get a free quote, to get an estimate. But it's in our best interest to give them that estimate in order to earn their trust so that we can work the claim through the process and get them everything they need to deserve from the insurance company. So don't, don't think I'm telling you, hey, go out and just give estimates and that's the end of it. We want to give an estimate at this point in the storm from here to here. We want to do estimates. And actually, from that point to there, what do you think our bait is? This is, this is the beginning of the storm. This is the bell curve. This is the end of the storm. So in the beginning, it's free inspections. In the middle, it's free estimates. What do you think the third thing we're going to use as bait is? Quality. Nope. Quality is always going to be part of the deal, but that's not what we're going to use as our bait. To have a good pitch, we got to have good bait. That's what? Great. I know. I know. Sergio used this like crazy last year. When we were coming to the end of this thing, what happens right here? Why is there such a dramatic cutoff? Huh? Time sensitive. It's time sensitive, right? We're, we're going to use the date. We're going to use the date of the event. Your, your insurance company only gives you one year to file a claim. Have you had your roof inspected yet? Have you decided on a contractor? Because your insurance company is about to cut you off. So that's the way we're going to have our pitch progress through this storm. First, we're going to be selling free inspections. And then we're going to be selling free estimates. And then we're going to be selling the insurance um, process and, and using the date as kind of a, a, a reason for a motivation to go ahead and move now, right? 
So these are both kind of baits, and then this is kind of using a little bit of a fear factor thing here to, to get us to that point. 